We're well into galaxy season now and I thought there was no better way to start off this cracking week full of sunshine than photographing M51, also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy. My name's Helena and welcome back to my channel, Helena's Astrophotography. also known as NGC 5194, is an interacting spiral galaxy located in the constellation Canis Venatici, very close to the star Dube, which is located in the Plough. A lot of my targets recently have been located around Dube, so Pinwheel, M81, M82, and now the Whirlpool Galaxy. M51 was actually the first galaxy to be defined as a spiral galaxy, and it's one of those closer studied objects by astronomers. This is due to its supermassive black hole in the galactic centre. So this supermassive black hole isn't just any supermassive black hole. This one releases Safer 2 emission lines, which is basically a fancy way of saying this galaxy looks fantastic when observed in infrared light. I'm just going to get set up, I'm going to do all the stuff you've already seen on my channel, I'm going to charge my batteries, I'm going to balance the mount, I'm going to set it to the home position, connect all the usual software and I'll meet you guys out there very soon for the imaging session. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? I've got all the equipment as you can see set up now. I'm dealing with some wispy cloud at the moment but I use an app for my weather called Clear Outside and I thoroughly recommend it if you haven't downloaded it already. Um, the UI looks something like this. So Clear Outside, um, it shows you low cloud, medium cloud, high cloud, rain, um, the wind, any ISS passes so that's really interesting for you, you guys um, that like to photograph the International Space Station. But what I'm looking at is the cloud levels and we've got some cloud hanging about. It's around 7 now that's meant to be clearing um, and by eight as you can see it's all zeros so I'm very happy about that I'll catch up with you guys later So tonight is actually essentially going to be the fight of the fittest with my Canon 60D um, because as you guys know DSLRs don't have cooled sensors, I have no control over the temperature whatsoever. Um, summer is just around the corner here in Scotland. I mean what is summer in Scotland? Anyway summer is almost here and tonight it's going to be around 15, 16, 17 degrees as opposed to 1 or 2 degrees celsius outside so that is going to be a major change for this little guy. I really think the camera will be fine though, it's not an overwhelming change in heat, um, it's just a little difference but it'll be fun to put this dude to the test and see what you can do.
I'm extremely happy to say that all of my efforts of researching and asking questions and referring to the catalogues and getting the directories in the right place has been worth it and I am on Vega. I'm currently doing my focusing routine and as you can see on the screen is incredibly bright um, and the little red dot that you see in the middle that's where Pointcraft aims to centre the object so dead centre so the lead for my guide camera so I'm running my guide camera from the mini USB to USB the mini USB end has snapped off unfortunately tonight um, and I have a spare of course it's about a fifth of the length that I need it to be um, so I'm actually, unfortunately, just working with telescope tracking. I was obviously going to be doing 120 second subs. I've had to bunk that down to 60 seconds due to just using telescope tracking. But it's working fine. As you can see, the stars are looking pretty sharp. We've got a bit of a breeze going on. That's meant to go away in about 20 minutes. Right, guys, I think I'm going to end the astro adventure here. I have my tea and I'm going to go inside and keep warm and wait for this imaging session to finish. Thank you so much for coming along with me um, for another night of astrophotography in my cold, dark and wet back garden. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, happy stargazing, stay safe and clear skies.